Now, heavy rains in Ivory Coast have brought another strong cocoa harvest, but all that moisture is also spreading disease among trees that produce nearly 40% of the world's cocoa. VOA West Africa correspondent Scott Stearns has more. Farmers in the coastal Sassandra region sort through piles of cocoa pods, separating healthy yellow pods from those rotting with black fungus. When the black pods are inside, that makes cocoa very light. We're asking ourselves why we still got black pods even after our careful growing. What should we do now to make the black pods disappear? Sometimes we wonder if this is caused by the ground itself. Agricultural scientists say it's spread by too much humidity after weeks of heavy rains, where trees planted too close together do not get enough sunlight to dry them out. When the cocoa plants are too close together, that encourages diseases as there is too much humidity. And when we have too much humidity, the fungus makes the pods rot. You can see 100 pods on one cocoa tree, but you can only harvest about 30 of them. In addition to the black pod disease, high humidity also spreads the viral swollen shoot disease, which can ruin cocoa beans. Pesticide seller Deki Adamawatara says farmers must address the disease quickly. Normally, from March to April, we supply pesticides to deal with these parasites because once they appear on your field, it's too late, you can't do anything. What we did, we call it sanitizing the harvest, is to cut out all the affected pods and throw them away. If not, they will touch the other pods and contaminate them too. While Ivory Coast remains the world's largest cocoa producer, it's far less efficient than Indonesia or neighboring Ghana, in part because of disease, in part because its trees are far older and less productive. Cooperative manager Cray says cocoa fields have expanded more than five times over the past two decades, but output has only doubled. We exploit two million hectares of forest, which was destroyed in order to cultivate cocoa. On each of those two million hectares, we grow about 600 kilograms of cocoa. We can do even better when farmers respect good practices. Good rains mean this year's harvest will likely approach last year's 1.2 million tons of cocoa. Ivorians are also grinding more of their own beans locally and hope to overtake the Netherlands as the world's largest cocoa grinder. Keeping harvests consistent means replacing older trees and reforming government price controls. The future of Ivorian cocoa has been a central theme in the country's ongoing presidential campaign. But real change has been held up by this much delayed vote, which is currently scheduled for the end of October. Scott Stearns, VOA News, Dakar.